Today on Project Civic, we are wrapping up all my current mods, taking the car for a test drive to see how transmission, camber kits, and ball joints are doing. So last week you saw me show off my brand new wheels. They're somewhere back there in the dark. The car is still up in the air. I've you know been doing all these mods with the transmission and the suspension. So when you guys saw the wheels last week, that's kind of an older episode that I filmed over a month ago uh, to keep you all in suspense. I mean, our original plan was to you know kind of un unveil my wheels and Rob's wheels for his EG but his are still on back order so we gotta wait a little longer for his wheels but hopefully they'll be in for the track day and guys will get to see those but today i'm gonna wrap up my car i'm gonna do the driver side ball joint camber kit like i did a couple weeks ago on the passenger side i'm gonna fix my very large mistake that everyone loved to point out i installed the wrong camber kit on the right side of the car whoops i haven't driven it so it's not a big deal and i'm not sure if it's a big deal anyway but they are labeled right and left and i just got them mixed up it was the end of the day i was exhausted anyway i'm gonna switch those out and then get the ball joint in do some other things you can see my list here just kind of wrapping up some stuff that i need to get taken care of and hopefully the car will be good to go i just want to get it back to driving in i haven't driven it in a while and i don't daily it or anything and i don't go to the track all that much but i want to get I need to put 500 miles on the clutch to kind of break it in before our track day in August at the firm. So I really want to get it, get going and start driving it just to see how it feels. I mean, I got all these new mods and they're super awesome. And the tires, I really want to, I mean, wheels and tires to see what they do. You know, see how the car feels because when you do wheels and tires, I feel it's a big improvement on drivability of the car. You know, I think it's gonna be a big change. I have the right and left camber kit. I took the this one off the right side since I did it wrong last time. So I'm gonna switch them out now. But I have the right tool to adjust the camber kit. I found this, um, as you guys saw, I use this hex key. It's a 2013 Mazda 3. I use it to change the oil because it has a hex key nut as the oil drain bolt. So I use this. So I'm gonna adjust these to about halfway just to get a starting point because I have no idea what camber will be and then I will go from there and adjust it as I want to. So let's put these, this one's a little bit more than halfway. Probably just leave that like that and match this one up to it. So they're loose. I'll loosen all four of these and then it should slide, which it does. So you can slide it back that's full negative camber and all the way up. So I'm going to try to match these guys up here. Probably get my tape. I'm going to get a tape measure and check those. Okay, so I have this one off and the correct one on for all you YouTube fact checkers. Everything is buttoned up. Now time to start on the driver's side. Camber kit going in. This is the left side, this is the left one.
everything is done on the driver's side. So I have new camber kit, the right one on this side, and new ball joint. Everything's buttoned up, torqued down. So now I'm gonna move to some other stuff. The next thing I wanna try to tackle is I'm going to actually cut this metal piece out here. You can see it's already kind of outlined. Uh, some models already have this piece cut out from the factory. I'm going to cut it out because I want to have uh, some cool air coming into the Password JDM intake that sits right in this spot. So I'm probably going to put some kind of tubing from here and it'll come out here. Day two has begun, so I got some dryer ducting, which I put in the hole I just cut last night. So you can see it's coming out this way. I'm gonna see if the bumper can go on, and then I'm gonna try to direct this right here. I'm going to do some chopping of the bumper the grill area here just to give space for the tubing to fit. So I'm going to get the Dremel and cut this piece out. So I think I have it routed pretty well. I have it in my hole that I cut yesterday. The intake's gonna sit right here if you remember. So it should feed a good amount of air up this way, hopefully. And then we go down to the bumper in the front. And there you can see the ducting out front. Before I put the intake back, I'm going to fill the transmission. So here's the drain bolt. Here's the fill hole. So that is up here. I need to make sure this is tight. And then I'm gonna put my tubing, put my tubing in there now. As you can see, I got the tube in the hole. My filter up there, or my funnel. Put a drain can under the transmission, the fill bolt because you fill it until it pretty much overflows. Since I'm going to be racing this car most of the time, I bought some Torco RTF. It is a synthetic racing transmission fluid. Um, it's gonna help just uh, basically have less wear on the gear, and which is good. So I'm gonna start filling the transmission now. Make sure my line is in there as far as it goes. And then start filling it up. Keep an eye on your drain pan and start filling it. Oh, it's blue. Now we're gonna add some oil because I drained everything. So. 5W30, do the trick.
Good morning. So it's about two weeks since I last filmed and the car as you can see behind me is on the ground. Uh, everything's back together. Only problem I am having is the battery is dead because it hasn't been driven in a month. So uh, I have a little battery charger. I'm going to try to jump it now. does a little bit faster speeds because I can't drive fast in the neighborhood here. Gonna see what it does, drive it around, um, see how the alignment is. Probably pretty bad, I would say, for sure. But everything's to be working. No check engine lights, idling fine, gears feel okay. Crazy when you take apart the car, you take things out that are made, you're like, the transmission is just crazy. Everything with the car as engine wise is good to go. The transmission and the engine all seem to be running as they should be, which is good because we took the transmission off. So a little worried. But everything seems to be good. The clutch feels good. It just needs to more time to be broken in. Um, and I think it'll be really, really set up. The next issues I've just run into is really suspension wise. I'm having a lot of problems with my suspension because when you buy aftermarket stuff, you need to really take apart coilovers and camber kits, especially the rear ones, and put anti-seize lubricant on the threads because most of my coilovers are seized so I can't adjust them and then I one of my camber kit is also seized as well so that's giving me some issues because really I want to run more camber in the rear because right now I'm probably zeroed out there's probably no negative camber fronts seem to be pretty much set up from my guess they're around two and a half I'd say to three degrees of negative camber in the front which is pretty good what happened when the ball joints were installed though which I didn't realize what happened was the car in the front was lowered probably about a half an inch which I don't think is gonna be an issue but it's definitely higher in the rear, which I'm not sure if I'm too concerned about yet or not. I just really would like to have more camber in the back. That's kind of where I'm at. And All right, guys, that is it. I just fixed the end links on the steering rack, so there won't be as much bump steer because it was crazy driving it. And I'm gonna work on getting the rear camber kits unseized. This one on this side, the passenger side, is seized right now, so I can't adjust the camber. And I really wanna get some a little bit of negative camber on the rear just to help with some grip so I don't have any spin outs like I did the last time at the firm. I'm gonna work on that. I really think the car is gonna be good to go. I, I might have a problem either with my battery or my alternator, so I'm gonna have to deal with that soon. But that should be really it. And then getting in alignment and the car will be set up for our track day, which will be at the firm August 26th. If anybody wants to come out, check out their site and we'll be out there as well that day. And that is it for me. We are gonna turn it over to Rob and his Civic EG project. He's got some stuff to show you guys. He hasn't gone anywhere. This is how the channel works. It's gonna be him, me, him, me, and we'll cross over when we can get together. And, uh, but anyway, just like, comment, share, subscribe, and please go buy some stickers. If you guys have any ideas about stickers you'd like to see, let us know, or different colors, or whatever. 
and we'll see what we can do. We're thinking of designs right now. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys later. Yeah.